Hello, it's uh, it's Trevor. Uh, I'm out here uh, late. Uh, 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 it's 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 10:08 p.m. I'm just across the street from from where I'm, where I'm uh, where I'm staying. So kind of my my breaking curfew. I don't really know. Don't really know. But in 10 days, I guess this will all be this will all be straight up, straight up and legal. The moon over Montreal is is out tonight. It looks really fantastic. And so I wanted to give you a brief uh, little look at the moon. Uh, through uh, through the telescope. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm, I've got my phone. I'll show you what I where, what I'm doing here. There's trash cans over there. There's the plateau behind me right there. I've got the telescope right here. Uh huh. Right there. I got my phone set on it right here. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you uh, some close up views of the moon with my uh, my phone attached to my telescope. So give me one second. Let's change this here and there we go. We can see the moon right. There. Let's zoom in a little bit. I can do a little bit of changes here. Uh, you can hear traffic going by. This is all real. This is all real. Uh, uh, let's zoom in a little bit here. There we go. There we go. We can zoom in like that. Let's get the focus nice. There we go. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing this in the plateau in Montreal right now. Okay. We can see the top of the moon right there. Very good. We can see the bottom of the moon right there. I'm moving the telescope with my hand. This is a manual telescope. Um, no robots are involved here uh, in so much as movement. Um, zoom out. Let's get the full moon right there. So I'm not going to stay too, too long because i got to do another stream on Instagram in a few minutes. If you have questions, throw them at me. I'm just going to talk a little bit about the moon and, and some special things that are coming up in Montreal with, with, with the moon and things we're going to see in the sky this summer. Maybe like how the pandemic and the curfew ending will like be of great value to us, uh, particularly me, because now I can actually start making money out of this. Um, okay. So the moon right here, it, it's half lit up. So a week ago, it was uh, the end of Ramadan. Uh, it was the, the the new moon. We can see a little bit of the crescent moon. So that was about a week ago. And another week, and another week, and I'll zoom in a little bit more here. And uh, let's get nice and close up on these craters here. And go like that. There we go. In another week, it is going to be the full moon. It's going to be the full moon here in, uh, well, here on Earth. I was going to say in Montreal, but it's everywhere on Earth that we'll see the full moon. You might see some new stories. You might see some new stories about uh, a lunar a lunar eclipse happening uh, in the next week or so. That's true. That is true. Uh, in Montreal, though, yeah, we're not going to see uh, uh, much of a lunar eclipse. A little bit of it will go into shadow, but honestly, not enough for you to like sort of warrant worth your energy and time, I will say. Um, another thing, uh, uh, keep hearing the words like super moon, super blood, flower of blood, so much, so much, so much, <laughs> so many adjectives this time around for this uh, full moon coming up. Ah, super moon, what does that even mean? Super moon just means the moon is a little bit closer than usual. Uh, trust me, you probably wouldn't even notice the difference. So whenever you see super moon, uh, I, I wouldn't give it as much credence as uh, uh, I think all the headlines uh, uh, give it. Something that is coming up that is really cool. And while before I mention that, what I'm going to do is, is you probably see me like sort of moving the telescope around, constantly readjusting. What, 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 why, why am I doing that? Am I slowly moving the telescope? No, 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 no. I'm zoomed in really close right here. Okay. But if I just wait a second, I'm not moving the moon here. Can you see it's sort of moving from the top left to the bottom right? What is that? What is going on here? What you're seeing here in real time is the earth rotating, the earth rotating, okay? You see sunrise, you see sunset, you see the stars move from one end of the sky to the other. All of that is the earth rotating. And sometimes that can become a little bit, um, uh, not something we witness very often or, or think to even, even notice. We're seeing it right here, the earth rotating in real time. I'll do this again like that. I'll put the moon just off to the side there and you can slowly, slowly, slowly see the moon moving from left to right. That is the Earth rotating. Now we're zoomed in quite a bit here, okay? I'm ultra zoomed in right there, okay? You can really see it move in real time there. Of course, in real life, we are less zoomed in. We're more like this, so it's a bit more subtle. But zoomed in, we can really see the effect of the moon moving across uh, in the telescope. It's funny, I, I'm, so I'm out sort of in public right now, just across the street from, from where I'm staying, and some people uh, stopped by, 
seeing that I was I was set up. And I used to be able to do this so much. I used to be able to uh, uh, set up the telescope in the street. And I, I, I miss that I couldn't do that last summer. We'll see maybe, maybe this summer. Maybe that'll actually happen. What I would tell people to do is to look at the moon, just watch it for a few seconds. And after a few seconds, they would say, oh, wait, it's moving. And that really hammers the point home of the moon, uh, uh, sorry, the Earth rotating like that. Oh, uh, we have a question from Eve. Eve, I know sometimes you go at the top of Mount Royal to check the full moon rise of people. Does it happen every month at the same place? There's only a few times per year. Eve, great question. Let's put that up there. Yes, funny you mentioned that, Eve. Uh, next ooh, Tuesday uh, is the full moon, or is that Wednesday? Well, I'm doing it Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday is I'm going to be able to see the, the full moon. So, yes, I'm going to go up to uh, Mount Royal on Tuesday. And uh, I'm going to bring a few people up. And now it's still curfew time. It's still restriction time. So I can't bring a whole bunch of people there. But I'm going to bring seven people up. I got to charge for this one. I got to charge for this one. Okay. Uh, I'll have more details about that in the next day or two. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to bring people up and we're going to watch the full moon come up and rise over the horizon. Hopefully we can start doing those as we did do them before. Uh, but just for this one coming up on Tuesday, it's not the 28th yet. So I got to, uh, uh, got to keep it small. Tia says, this is amazing, Trevor. Well, uh, the, the telescope's doing most of the work. I just pointed at this guy. That is all I do. But thank you. Um, one thing I'm going to mention here that uh, I was going to mention before. So we get the full moon coming up. People will say it's going to be a super moon and all that. Honestly, I got to tell you, don't, don't, don't worry too much, about, uh, too much about that. What you should be worried about, or not worried, excited is probably a better word, is the uh, uh, solar eclipse coming up on June 10th. June 10th, we're going to see the solar eclipse. What is the solar eclipse? Well, what we're going to see on June 10th, as the sun is rising in the eastern horizon, uh, this is in a lot of Canada, not everywhere in Canada, but here in Montreal, we're definitely going to be able to see it. As the sun is rising, the moon, this here moon, the one I'm going to zoom in really close to in a second here, bleh, right there, uh, this is going to partially block out the sun. Okay, So if you have the right equipment, some solar eclipse classes, uh, you'll be able to see the sun, and it'll look like a big bite of the sun has been taken out of it. Okay, that's going to happen June 10th, really early in the morning, really early in the morning, about 5 a.m. I think. Um, so that is going to going to happen. That you should really, really pay attention to and try and try to watch. It's 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 really cool. That doesn't happen very very often. Uh, I sometimes think headlines get a little bit too crazy uh, for clickbait reasons. Um, telling you every super moon you got to go and see it's the best one in decades ah uh, i gotta tell you uh, i think you're okay but the june 10th solar eclipse you should go and see it and hey if you need eclipse classes i know a guy i know a guy it's me five bones each wow he's really schlocking the uh uh, uh the uh, uh the merchandise isn't he okay so that is the moon right there i'm gonna i'm gonna move down sort of towards the bottom here yeah we've got some nice craters right there Let's zoom in a little bit on these ones. If you have any questions, obviously, let me know right here. A question I often get, and, uh, you know, uh, maybe you think this is an obvious one, but it's a good question. How come there's so many craters on the moon, but not here on Earth? Okay, everywhere we look on the moon right now, there's craters everywhere. Whoa, what's going on here? Well, on the moon, there is no atmosphere. There is no air, okay? There's nothing... Um, um, uh, yeah, there's no air, no atmosphere around around the moon. What that means is the moon is kind of, shall we say, naked out there in space, okay? And there's meteors moving all around uh, the solar system. There's rocks flying everywhere. When you don't have an atmosphere, you're kind of standing there completely naked, okay? So when a rock hits the moon, you're going to get this big crater like that. I'm going to zoom in on one of the ones I saw up top, da -da 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 right about here, I'll zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, that big one right there. I don't know the name of this one. I could check, but I'm not going to do that right now. So a rock would go. It would come and strike the moon directly. Okay, and it would make this big crater like that, depending on the size of the size of the rock here. Now here on Earth, uh, Jiminy, good God, we we are we are lucky here because we have air. We have an atmosphere, and when you have air, when you have an atmosphere, uh, if a rock was coming your way. Okay, the rock would come and it would hit the atmosphere first before hitting the surface, before hitting us here in Montreal or any other place like that. And so it can slow it down, okay, and not make these big, big, big craters. If the rock is big enough, of course, it could make a, a big old crater, but uh, it does not, luckily. 
So we are quite good in that regard. Moon, though, not so lucky. No atmosphere. So it is just punctured. It has tons of these craters all over there. Also, there's no wind. There's no wind up on the, on the, on the, uh, there's no wind, there's no water. So uh, if there was a crater on the moon, and you can see there are certainly a lot of them here, no wind would blow the dust away. No water would blow and, and, and sort of dampen all these rocks down. Sorry, all these craters down and uh, to sort of heal the wounds of it, which we have here on Earth. You can literally hear traffic going by right there. Okay. All right. Uh, a few things. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and then I'm going to head off in a second here. This is just supposed to be brief. I was supposed to start earlier. My apologies. This is a free show. This is what you get for free. Okay. Uh, the curfew. The curfew is now ending here in Montreal. It's great. A lot of restrictions are being lifted. So luckily, I'm going to be able to start uh, to do some more workshops here in uh, here in Montreal. Uh, one of the first ones I'm going to do on May 28th is called Sunset Club. Sunset Club. And this is where I take you up to the Belvedere Outremont, sort of on the west, uh, northwest side of the mountain. And we watch a sunset together. We watch the sun dip below the horizon. I try to explain, try to teach you how to appreciate a sunset, okay? Uh, it try to let you sort of instinctively feel the earth rotating, the rotation of the uh, of the earth, okay? The 28th, something special is happening that night. On May 28th, Venus and Mercury will be very, very close to each other in the sky. Very, very close to each other in the sky. So close, we'll be able to see both of them at the same time through the telescope. So it'll look like two bright dots in the telescope at the same time. So I'm going to show you that there. If you've never been to Belvedere Uchma, my, good Lord, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's good because it's the best kept secret in Montreal. Keep it that way. Uh, uh, it is a very, very awesome uh, place to watch the sunset here in Montreal. So that's Friday, May 28th. I'm going to start doing those. The space station. The space station is going to fly over uh, over the next few weeks here. So I'm going to start doing uh, uh, workshops again, teaching how to see the space station um, um, with the naked eye. So I'll do those outside, all these will be outside. Uh, so that'll be at Parc La Fontaine. I'll be doing those. Maybe a few other locations. Maybe teach you how to uh, take photos of the space station as well. That'll be a, a bit of a different one, though. And so those will be starting up very, very, very soon. In fact, tonight, the space station will fly over in about 10 minutes, if I remember. Maybe even shorter than that. I don't have time to teach you how to do that, but it is true. Uh, the space station will be flying over Montreal in a few minutes here. So... And other workshops, too. Uh, um, um, Jupiter and Saturn are coming out later this summer. Uh, I make it sound like it is a, like an EP dropping or something like that. Uh, Saturn and Jupiter are coming out uh, this summer, probably around July, August. We'll start to see them in the kind of latish evening, around 10 p.m., 9.30 p.m. So I, I really want to show people uh, the rings of Saturn, the moons of Jupiter, and so give you sort of private sessions um, showing you... Uh, showing you uh, Jupiter and Saturn. So I'll be doing that throughout the summer. Okay. I think uh, I'm going to kind of wrap her up here uh, in a second. Uh, but it's starting to feel like summer here in Montreal, which is uh, which is great. Okay. Um, after a long slog of uh, last year, finally getting to, getting to the end of it all. All right. Cool. I'm going to end this right here. Thank you for, for, for watching this. If you have any questions, you can always send me a message. Hope to see you soon.